Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on a new foundation. It is the YSL All Hours Foundation. I do a first impression and a wear test on it. So if you are interested to see if it is full coverage, lasts a long time, matte finish, if you want to see if those claims are true, then just keep on watching. This is what the box looks like. It's a really gold packaging with YSL and then the name of the foundation on the top. It is so nice looking. It just looks so expensive, honestly. This is what the YSL All Hours Foundation looks like. It has a nice frosted bottle, a black top, and it's just a really nice looking. And then it has this stripe on the side. And then once you open it up, it does have a pump, which is greatly appreciated. And this foundation retails for $58 on Sephora. So after tax, it's around like $60. And then let's read the claims on the Sephora website. It says it's a new 24-hour full coverage foundation that instantly blurs pores and fine lines and provides uninterrupted flawless wear that looks and feels just applied all day. So it says it won't cake, dry, flake, or fade. It's transfer proof, oil free, and non pore clogging. So pretty much it has all the claims that I love in a foundation, full coverage, matte, it will last a very long time, oil free, and, and it's supposed to blur the pores. So let's jump in because I am super excited about this foundation. Like I'm so pumped. And you get 0.84 ounces in this foundation, so it is not the average one ounce. I will actually compare it to just like the Laura Mercier. This foundation has one fluid ounce and the YSL doesn't, so you can just tell the difference. Obviously the packaging is different, but you can just tell the YSL, like, I really wish they would have just filled this bottle right here, like this bottom part, to make it one ounce. I feel like that kind of pushes people away from buying this because it is a more expensive foundation. Yes, I get it is YSL, so it's like bad and bougie, but come on YSL, really? You couldn't add the 0.16 more ounces to make it one ounce? And then I got the shade BR50 and Cool Honey. So this is the one with the cool undertone. I went in to Sephora, swatched them all, and I was like, okay, let's try the cool undertone today because the neutrals have not been working out. So we're going to try this out. It might be a little too dark, but we're going to roll with it. I feel like I say that in every foundation review. I'm like, we're just going to roll with it. Because <laughs> you know your girl is not buying two of these because... <laughs> over $100 on two foundations. No, thank you, honey. So today we are going to go in with my usual primers, Smashbox Primer Water, Professional Matte Rescue, and then the Hard Candy Pore Defense Serum. So today I'm going to go in with half brush, half sponge because I did realize that you guys have been loving that and you guys just like to see different techniques while applying a foundation. So half brush, half sponge. For my sponge today I'm going in with the Real Techniques Diamond Sponge and then for my brush I have two, the Ulta Beauty Buffing and then the Morphe M439. So we'll test them out see which one I like better. So that is what the foundation looks like. It's not too runny, not too thick. Thick. It's kind of like a perfect medium mixture, which I really love this texture of foundations actually. It has a really nice scent. It's kind of perfumey. Not so much like floral, but it does. I really do like the scent. It's not too overbearing. Okay, so I'm going to start with the sponge side first. So this is one side. I feel like I just need a tiny bit more just in like just all over just because I feel like the sponge is so big so I feel like I soaked up like a ton of the product. So I'm going to go in with just a little more, nothing crazy and see if this can actually like build up because right now it is definitely not the coverage that I want. And 
it honestly built up really nicely and just it looks really pretty right now like I'm so happy with the foundation I'm like so excited at this point like you guys have no idea so now let's do the same on the other side but just with a brush this time I'm gonna add not as much just cuz a brush doesn't really um, soak up product so I feel like I don't have to add that much to my skin. For the brush side, I'm going to try the Ulta um, buffing brush. Just because this one I feel like leaves strokes on my face and I hate that. So I'm going to try this one out first. And then if I don't like the Ulta one, I will go to the Morphe one. So I definitely think I like the sponge side better just because this side did not give me as much coverage as the sponge did. Which that's a little weird because usually brushes don't um, soak up as much product so it gives you more coverage. So I'm going to try and add a little bit more just like I did on the other side. Okay, so I definitely like the sponge side better. I just feel like it looks more flawless, more smooth. The brush side kind of looks a little cakey in a way. So I'm going to go back over with the sponge and just buff it really nicely into the skin. I feel like this is a foundation that you really have to just like soak it into the skin and not like buff it in. Because it definitely did get a little cakey on this side when I added a little more. But when I did that on the sponge side, it didn't end up like that. So definitely recommend just a sponge with this foundation. Okay, so right now I am actually really, really loving this foundation. It matches so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, YSL. Thank you. And remember, this is the shade Cool Honey BR50. So for concealer today... I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me. I have the shade 10 and 25. I think I'm going to mix the two of these just because this one is a little too dark and this one's a little too light. So let's mix them. The concealer looks really nice, it blended out beautifully, and it just looks really flawless right now. So I am going to bake my face today. I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier setting powder. So while I let my face bake, I'm just going to go do my eyebrows and probably the rest of my makeup just really quickly. And then I will check in with you guys when it's all finished and before I do the wear test. And this is the completed look. So I will link everything that I used after I stopped videotaping um, down below. I always link them down below, especially my lip. A lot of people ask me about my lips, so that will be down below in the description bar. So right now... Honestly, everything went on gorgeous, just like a normal foundation. I absolutely love this foundation right now. It's not too matte, it's not too flat, but it's like matte enough where it's like it looks really good. Honestly, like I'm obsessed and I cannot wait to wear this and hopefully it lasts a long time. It says a 24 hour wear, so that's a long time. Definitely not going to wear it that long, but. Um, probably like four to five hours because I'm going to go on a hike with um, the dogs and Matt. So we will see how it wears in weather and sweat and grossness. But right now I am loving the foundation and I'm very excited to test it out. So I will see you guys in a few hours. Right now it is... 2.13 so it's a little later in the afternoon but I will give you guys a full wear test so stay tuned. Hi guys I'm back so it is what time is it 6.23 so it has been about like four hours almost and this is as far as the wear test it has to go because I am busy for the rest of the night and I won't be coming home again so I'm sorry it's a little shorter one but it has been four hours okay I went on a hike it's not too bad in Syracuse today it's kind of like 73 but I did sweat a little bit so 
my makeup still looks so good. Like, I am literally impressed so much. This bad boy is my new favorite. You're going to see me using this all the time. I know it's $58. It's so much money. I know. It broke my heart too, okay? And it breaks my heart that I like it this much, but YSL, you, you, you freaking killed it. Actually, I want to turn this cap around. That's better. But they killed it. It looks so good. My makeup looks phenomenal. Like, I think this foundation is better than the Wet n Wild. And you guys know the Wet n Wild is, like, my holy grail ride or die foundation at the moment. So, YSL just stole the show. So, yeah. That just says a lot. I have really, like, no smile lines at all, if you can see. Like, barely any. They're really, like, not even noticeable. I have no line on my forehead, really. I haven't touched up at all. I haven't blotted. And I do have a very oily T-zone. So, I'm, like, so impressed. Like, I'm literally in shock right now. Like, this is insane. And, like, you can still see my bronzer. My highlight is still popping. I just, I, I don't even know what they put in this. It's, like, magic in a little bottle. And I absolutely love it. This probably would look fabulous in... Um, like wedding wedding pictures. Hopefully it doesn't get flashback. I didn't necessarily try that. Maybe I'll actually try that right now. I'm going to try that right now. Oh my god, that's a good idea. Because it does have an SPF of 20 in it. So I'm going to use the front camera, not the back camera, because the last time I did that, I messed it all up. So I'm just going to take a selfie right here on camera so I can't cheat. And I'm not going to edit it at all. You're probably going to see, like, some blemishes. But, girl, it's life. So, let's turn it around. Doesn't necessarily have flashback at all. But, like, me looking at it right here, it doesn't necessarily have flashback. It might have, like, a tiny, like, a tiny, like, this much. But it's not even, like, insanely bad that you can't wear it on your wedding day or to prom or, like, during a special event. So, I say this foundation is, like, ten freaking stars. I don't even care what Sephora says. People say it's, like, four and one-fourth. Girl, this is ten stars. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing foundation reviews, first impressions, and wear tests. They are, like, my favorite um, video to record just because they're so much fun. And I just love foundations, especially when they're this good. That's like my favorite thing ever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I am doing a giveaway when I hit 2,000 subscribers. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button and that bell. So you're notified every time I upload. I try to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. But sometimes life just gets in the way, honey. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.